right? Suicide yeah. Squad. What do you think about that? What's going on? Oh, there? My, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really went in on the, yeah, I on did, the suicide. I did. Okay. Um, yeah, it this this is quite a game, man. I, I didn't know what to think of it coming out the gate. Um myself and my channel were were big on comic books and comic book video games and stuff like that. So um I was very excited to see that DC has a new game coming out and that it's rock steady you know the company that built the batman arkham games that that finally made batman a viable video game character you know what are they going to do next what have they been working on for the past nine years and it's been suicide squad kill the justice league and i think it's a very contentious game online right now uh in discussions because you know the very premise of the game is kill the Justice League, it's our heroes, it's Batman, it's Superman, it's Wonder Woman, it's Green Lantern, The Flash. These are our heroes that we've grown up and idolized. And this game is now asking us to do the unthinkable. So, I mean, a lot of people just don't like it on that premise. Um, and I can see it. It's very hard to to pull the trigger on, on your heroes. But um, it's got really good storytelling. It's got that rock steady dna in its narrative its dialogue the characters the animations the combat everything has been engineered in that rock steady way i think the only thing that's different and new is the looter shooter aspect where you're collecting loot that's giving you certain types of perks different weaponry um different traversal skills grenades mods that you're applying and then of course you have various weapon merchants that are selling you uh, the ability to craft and customize your gear, which I mean, that's stuff that even Destiny and Division didn't have until late in their life cycle. So Rocksteady finally did the thing that that we always say every time a new looter shooter is coming into space. When Anthem was coming in, we're like, oh, are they going to learn from Division and Destiny and not follow in their footsteps and make the exact same mistakes? Well, they did. And then they made some new ones and the Avengers came into space and they, you know, are they going to innovate? Are they going to not make the same mistakes? They made the same mistakes. They made some new mistakes. Right. And so with Suicide Squad, it really feels like they looked at the big picture of like, OK, this is clearly what Avengers did wrong. You know, we got to have the end game out the gate. We got to have infamy levels that people can grind. There has to be something sustainable. And then they've already promised multiple seasons post game. The Joker is going to be one of them. I've got theories about the other three characters. I think probably Mr. Freeze and Deathstroke are going to be two of them joining the squad as playable characters, new areas that will be unlockable there. Um, the combat is very different. It's not your typical rock steady beat em up. And I do feel that there's a bit of a learning curve to it. I think you have to you have to play as the characters and level them up and get used to how they traverse because the game is all about going vertical. It's all about verticality. Um, Don't say that. Don't say that <laughs> word. Oh my gosh, you are doing so him, good. I got him, dude. Oh my I just... gosh. <laughs> You're doing so they good. The we're, we're, with a lot we're gonna of leave. We're gonna leave it in. There's okay. Of... We're gonna leave it in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So they designed the maps with a lot of um, a lot. Of, there's a lot of length in these maps. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So you have to you have to definitely find a way to get your character from point A to point B um, and as quick as possible. So Harley Quinn has the bat drone and the grapple, so she can pretty much swing around like Spider Man. Uh, King Shark is, uh, you know, he has superhuman abilities that allows him to jump really high and far like the Hulk. Um, Deadshot's got the jet pack that he can utilize. And then Captain Boomerang has the speed gauntlet, which almost turns him into the Flash. Um, Who's your favorite character? Access to speed force. Um, I think the the character I built the best and I've spent the most time on and enjoyed was Deadshot. I think sniping for critical hits, flying around with the jetpack and hovering around, using the wrist cannons and being able to stack up lots and lots of kills and deal massive damage has been my favorite. But honestly, as I've spread myself out and started playing as each character, I see that each one is unique and fun to play as. And now that question gets a little more difficult the more I play. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. 
That makes sense. Suicide Squad. Okay, uh, Batman making an appearance or no? Batman is there, and it's Kevin Conroy, and he is knocking it out of the park. I mean, regardless of what we think of the story and the characters, like the man is giving it his all, and I think the devs even talked about that to a point. Um, where there were some Twitter posts of people saying, oh, this is Kevin Conroy's last role. You know, this is a dishonor to him and his legacy. And the developers at Rocksteady came out and said, actually, we talk to Kevin every day. He loved this project. He loved the chance to be able to play a different version of the character, to be an evil Batman, something he's never done before. Um, He was excited about doing that. So if it's got his stamp of approval, I owe it to myself to at least give it a chance and play through it. 